I'm Noah and I'm Lauren from Tis to Eat and today we're going to be making an easy bake oven white cake from scratch <coughs> and what are these things on the cake? Wallop and sprinkles and cake. And we're going to top that off with tulip and sprinkles like you said. So sometimes it's easy to use an easy bake oven like mitts or something but today I'm going to show you how easy it actually is to bake it from scratch. So let's get started with our mixes for the white cake. What you're going to need are two bowls and two spoons and then you're, you've got ingredients, I mean dry ingredients. So first you're going to need a third cup flour, two tablespoons of sugar, an eighth <laughs> teaspoon of baking soda, and an eighth teaspoon of baking powder. Might be weird that we're using eight teaspoons, but we're gonna make a small cake. And then finally, an eighth teaspoon of salt, or you could just add a pinch. Now mix your dry ingredients, and she's gonna tell us the what it is. Milk and butter and vanilla. Now you have to pour it in. and the butter is melted. Melt the butter till, well, it's melted. Can you hold this? Oh, okay. It comes out really fast. Uh-oh, there. There we go, I'm gonna chop it in. And now you're gonna mix that. So now, after you've mixed both of these, you're gonna dump your dry ingredients into your wet ingredients and keep on stirring. Can I help her? Okay. Oh, don't wait, both. And you're just gonna wanna stir this for a very long time. Yeah, until it looks like dough. Yes, this would actually make a regular small cake, just it's gonna make an easy big cake. Now we are gonna take our greatest easy bake pan and pour half of our mixture in this. This batter will make two pans. And this will bake, you wanna bake it for 12 to 13 minutes. There you go. First, just put it in with your hands. And now push it in. Push it till I say stop. Now we are gonna let this sit in here for 12 to 13 minutes and let it cool in the cooling rack for five. Now that my cake has been in the oven for 13 minutes and has cooled for five, we may taste it out. That looks beautiful. Now made a second pan and do the same things I showed you with the extra batter. Now that my cake is cooled and ready to go, I'm gonna show you how to put some tool whip on it. So I'm just gonna take a little on my spatula thingy with me and put a little through the middle. Now this doesn't have to look perfect because this is just to like stick the top on. Now I'm gonna put this one right on top. And if a little comes out, that's okay. Now it just looks like a giant ice cream sandwich. And now we're just gonna frost the top and the sides, and put a lot of sprinkles. Now we're gonna add our sprinkles. Go ahead, Nora. I'm gonna add a couple of stars. Add these to the sides of the cake. Just a little. I can't see that side. So this is our yummy, delicious finished project. But how do I know that? We haven't tasted it. So let's get eating. Taste 
Okay, so let's try this cake. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. This easy made oven cake actually tastes just good as a regular cake. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it actually tastes even better. Way better than the mm -hmm. package best. And it tastes even better than an actual cake. Please like and subscribe this video and click that notification bell and the the cake recipe will be in the description and please comment on what sprinkles you're going to try with your cake. Bye! Thanks for watching! And give a thumbs up down below.